for guys, this is the criteria that they have to meet. Attend the Sky University, so like the Ivy League house that's over worth over two million. Submit papers to prove that you own what? this or that you live there. An expensive car, you also submit those papers. You earn over 70k a year. CEO, a lawyer, doctor, or you just have a lot of family wealth. But for girls, it's just like if you're pretty enough, then you get accepted. This is just like really toxic. Like, how dare you like rate someone? Yeah. I mean, I think the app is allowed to exist. It's a free market, yeah, of right? Course. Clearly, there's a demand. Are we gonna do something romantic after dinner? <laughs> do you live alone? Do you oh, live alone? True. Oh. oh my god, you look so sexy. Like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> what? And I was like, at the beginning, I was like, cool, thank you. Like, thank you for knowing my culture. Oh my for example, god. like, gracias. Yeah, you, did you pronounce the R. Or like, <laughs> Do you like me or, or yeah. you're just like fantasizing and going out there with a Latina? Yeah, yeah. So many girls I know have gone out to like train stations mm, and wow. they were like, I'm in front of exit five and then he just goes. Wow. Yeah. They, they see them from afar and they just go home. Bringing Korea one slice closer to the world with extraordinary toppings. This is the Korean Pizza Club and I'm your host, David Kim. Uh, today's topic is unveiling the dating app culture in South Korea Ooh, in specific. Yes. yes. <laughs> we are going to be talking about a lot of specifics such as landscape of dating apps in Korea, cultural nuances, dating app tips, how to get more matches, how to set your <laughs> profiles, and also some challenges you might face using the dating apps mm. in Korea specifically. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can't leave out our personal fun stories as well so <laughs> yeah it's gonna I'm be sure very we all fun. have uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah so before we go on uh obviously we have some special guests in the studio so shall we do a round of introductions starting sure. with okay so my name is Saromi and I'm also a travel content creator you can find me on Instagram Saromi Jong and I am working for one of the biggest dating apps Ooh. yeah so we are expecting some insight from you you yeah. so we'll meet today yeah <laughs> and i just caught her in the right time right perfect, perfect time yes. thank you for being here yes. thank yeah. you so this app is big and i'm pretty sure everyone here has used it <laughs> right right and so like when we when we just met just before we started recording i was like oh i'm so jealous of your tan do you go machine tanning it's just like no i live in bali i was yeah. like oh, okay live i go the, machine tanning. yeah <laughs> digital <laughs> nomad <laughs> life mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah. she has some expertise definitely mm. to share with us and uh we have next to me is hi everyone my name is nalu and i'm a content creator Yay. yes Espanol. Spaniel, and you're from? I'm from Peru, and yeah, Latina in the house. Okay, yes. Latina represent, yes. <laughs> and she has so many subscribers, so oh, I think yeah. you're probably the number one count of subscribers on yes. this podcast so yes. far. Wow. Thank you. Yes. Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Nalu, you can find me like Nalu, Nalu Saram. Thank you. Yes. So thank you for coming on yeah, Korean yeah, Pizza yeah. Club today. <laughs> yes. And we have our regular. I'm just Anna. You just, know me. <laughs> just <laughs> Anna. Deal. I'm just David too. <laughs> Literally, my Literally handle. Literally, his handle yeah. is just David. Just David, just 92. David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my age. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, okay. Let's go straight on into the episode. So, first question, very general question. Have you all used dating apps in Korea before? Yes. I use them all. You use them all. Okay. She's the expert. The and expert, yes. Yes, I have used them. Yeah, and uh, is oh, using them. It's ongoing. <laughs> ongoing. I'm using it. Multiple. Okay. Yes. And I have I have used it like um ever since I don't know. Okay, even before joining the company. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, been oh, an right. avid user as well. Avid <laughs> user. Okay. Yeah. I have my own um track record too. Yes. Yeah. I have yeah. my own history. I'm not using right now because yeah. you know he's I, busy. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So I just wanna uh before we get into like the details, um explain or describe your experience of using dating apps in Korea in one sentence. Anybody? Be creative. <laughs> be creative. You're okay. You, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll start. Um, I'll define it in a sentence like the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> the good, That's the perfect. bad, yeah. and That's the ugly. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Okay. I'm very curious to hear about the details about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys? The wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. Why is it the west? Like east? <laughs> wild, wild east. east. Okay. Okay. I would say. Um, just 
just really difficult. <laughs> really <laughs> difficult. Okay, okay. It's complicated. Yeah. For me, um, describe it, David. Sorry, actually, like not difficult, different. Different. Uh, different. different. <laughs> I'll actually describe it as difficult. Then. Mm. <laughs> okay. You get yeah, where we, I'm we coming We probably from. should have had at least one more guy to talk yeah. about the yeah. experiences because right. it's slightly different for girls and guys. Isn't right. It? Sure. Right. right. True. If there even was a guy here, like it would have really mattered because he would not be able to give tips or anything. So it's <laughs> you better, never know. You it's better to know. hear from the girl's perspective. Yeah, it's I very different, say. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, speaking of, let's go into the landscape and okay. actual statistics about dating apps in mm -hmm. Korea. So what do you think are the most popular dating apps? Tinder. Yeah. Tinder. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just the biggest app. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. And uh, what do you think is like second, third, maybe try to... Because I think it depends among mm -hmm. foreigners or nationals. Yeah. Just yeah. I know overall. Koreans mm. have their own apps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Try to name a few. Like Amanda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Me like, Glam? Like, Glam? Glam, that, yeah. Um, Glam, Glam, right. Mm -hmm. uh, Whippy. Whippy also. Whippy, yeah, there's a lot of advertisements. <laughs> but I've never yeah. used those. Yeah. I've never either, yeah. but... Okay, so we're, we're all on the global side Yeah. Here. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Like yeah. Bumble. Yeah, Bumble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, Coffees, coffee, coffee meets bagels. bagels. <laughs> so <laughs> many. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. For the past two years, according to this research, the total number of active users of dating apps have increased significantly to approximately 800,000 in South Korea. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you know South Korea's population, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that is a lot. That is a lot. Is a lot. And uh, actually, 1.7 million people are estimated to use dating apps monthly. But the delete rate after a month is up to 80%. Oh, so they just use wow, it just yeah. to try it out yeah. and see yeah. what it's like and then yeah. delete it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I would say like maybe it's mostly men. <laughs> <to be Yeah. laughs> They're just know. disappointed. Right, right, right. <laughs> and uh, actually this usage, uh, the number of uh, the increase of users uh, is like a 34.8% increase compared to before covid in yeah, 2019. I can imagine. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah so everyone, because everyone was locked inside, they couldn't yeah. meet people. So apps is obviously the way to go. For mm -hmm, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you guys guessed right, uh, Tinder ranked first with 200,000 users, mm -hmm. and then it's followed by Glam, Hello Talk, Yoboya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I'm hearing about Yeah, me neither. Uh, Whippy, um, Noon Date, Someday, Tan Tan, oh. Dot Talk, and Meef. Oh, that's so many. Yeah, Gosh. so many. How so, many do you know? I thought me? Hello Talk was a language app. Yes. But everybody uh, used it for the other <laughs> yeah. 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 purpose. Right, right, right. So. Any language exchange app ends up becoming like a true. dating oh, app. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course. And obviously, the gender percentage of the app users was overwhelmingly male. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Each app had different ratios, but overall, it was overwhelmingly mm. male. Mm. Actually, the average gender ratio for the top 10 apps was almost 80 to 20. Like, so 80 okay. guys, 20 women. Yes. Wow, that's such a huge difference. See, men have it hard here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a huge difference. No wonder no I didn't get any matches. <laughs> no okay, but David, how successful were you yeah. on your previous dating app experience? Um, I mean, had, I've had some fun, yeah. No, but you were able to get matches quite easily, no? Not, I wouldn't say quite easily. Like I would get maybe once a week. Uh, one describe match fun. Week. And like, how would you do it? Like, would you swipe right on most people? No, I'm very selective. You're, you're picky. Uh, okay. I heard like uh, one of my male friends, he will just, just, La 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 la. That's like what everyone. most people do. And I was like, yeah, hey, you, you have to even, like, read. Look at people. Yeah, you have to read what they're saying. No, 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 no. Right. Yeah. yeah. They're just like, oh, anybody, you know, like, <laughs> so let's just get one match and then, yeah, yeah try my best. Yeah. Maybe I, I could have gotten more matches if I d used that strategy, but I didn't. So anyways. <laughs> and an interesting thing is, though, like, as uh, Nalu pointed out, Hello Talk is essentially a language app, right? Mm. So it has a different core um, and it has a different background, right? So yep. Hello Talk has a ratio of 85% female. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. According to this research. So guys, I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. watching. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is very valuable. <laughs> 
very valuable information I'm giving you right now. So don't. Now you're gonna ruin it for every all the users on. <laughs> Why are you swimming in the red ocean? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Go to Hello Talk. Okay. I yeah. mean, all of all the ones you mentioned on the list, I've only ever used Tinder. Really? And mm. because um, I, before when I was in London, in London, the UK is such a huge thing. Everyone's on the dating apps. That's how everyone yeah. meets each other these mm. days. It's not taboo. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've met people in mm. London while I was there, and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you guys? Yeah, I mean, I have used dating apps, and I think it's just like one of the ways that people meet, anyways. Like, yeah, like there, there is definitely a huge stigma in Korea, mm. but yeah, I definitely think like it's just like you know what, one of the ways people meet, like just like at bars yeah. or a networking event or yeah. anything. Um. So yeah, like you just gotta try. Right. Yeah. If you yeah want to date someone, it's mm -hmm. a different platform. And actually, sometimes if you meet people at a bar, right, yeah. you don't have the oh, chance yeah. to like Google them or like try oh to find, online stalk them before. Actually, sometimes if you meet someone online first, you can actually try to like find out more about them information wise. You before creep. You <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Whereas if you meet someone at a bar, you're just going off what they tell you. Yeah, you don't know he's True. a psychopath yeah. or he has a record. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I. I use like like what you mentioned. I use Tinder and mm. also I try to use Hello Hello Talk Hello Talk, but oh. I immediately lose interest because really yeah I think it's more for early twenties. I mm. found ah. at the time I used, so I was not interested. But I recommend using dating apps by going with your eyes open oh, and yeah. know what to expect. Mm. Mm. Like, and what do you have to expect? Yeah, what were you expecting? Um, for me, through the years, I, I, I used Tinder in two, two different seasons of my life, mm -hmm. I might say. And I, I'll compare Tinder to, or like dating apps to the ocean. Ocean, okay. <laughs> yes, where you can find beautiful coral and dolphins. But also, <laughs> as you know, in the ocean, there is a lot of trash. Trash. <laughs> a lot of pollution there. So you have to know where you're going. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of image do you think these apps hold respectively? First, start with Tinder. Like, what kind of image do you think it has? Like the <sighs> lowest of the low. Like, oh, like, really? Oh, oh, oh. O-O-N-S like Because O-N-S yeah, There's no barrier to entry It's just like very, It's like everyone's on there yeah. Like literally every, Anyone and everyone's on there so. Okay But it's like the biggest pool right? Yeah, yeah biggest, the biggest pool Yeah, yeah. True mm -hmm. so Okay you can find everyone <laughs> what do you think, David? Do you oh, think, David? I think it's a really nice app. <laughs> yeah, so Tinder, uh, please sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's the first place you go if you're yeah, exploring dating apps, yeah. right? True. Like if you're going to use dating apps, Tinder True. is the you know first installation. Yeah. So like even when I see like when I look at dating like other dating apps like Bumble, Coffee Meets Bagel, like when I see guys on these apps, they're also on Tinder. Yeah. Like, yeah. The same people. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, I, I iPhone and yeah. they have the same profile. I was like, oh. yeah, exactly. So yeah, whichever true. dating app they use, they always have Tinder. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a given. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the Google of dating apps, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and do you think like there are any differences of the guys like that are using the apps um, in this different ways? Yeah. So interestingly, like there are some. Okay, I don't know how to put this, but, <laughs> um, but I think, okay, depending on the platforms, mm. the way people talk, like the conversation, the quality of conversation really differs. Okay. Yeah. So on like Coffee Meets Bagel, for example, or even like Hinge, which is not really mm. available in Korea, yeah. but still like if you use it here, like, yeah, the quality of conversation like could be um more, more serious, serious. Yeah. but like if it's like tinder yeah or like bumble yeah. i think yeah these days like yeah. it tends to get a little more like casual, casual. Like hook yeah you'll see so yeah I, I imagine if you're a first beginner person using a dating app and you use tinder as mm. your first you might get a little bit shocked mm. yeah. because yeah. of the lingo True. being used or what right. people yeah. put on their profiles oh yeah oh i'm curious what like do guys they like just as like fwb uh, O-N-S. yeah a lot of, packs, <laughs> a lot of, yeah. A lot of yeah, all, packs. all of that yeah, you, you see less of that on like Coffee Meets Bagel mm. or some of the true, Hinge on other true. apps. It's slightly more serious. Mm. Right. Yeah. Also in Bumble, here in Korea at least, I don't know, other countries, you can find a lot of uh, army guys. Uh, army? Uh, like military. military. Yeah, so, oh, military. Oh. And I have some friends, I'm not going to say the names, that <laughs> they, um, they like 
army guys ah. so they use bumble for those purposes mm, 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 oh, mm. so a lot of korean oh, Americans really? too. most of my foreign yeah. friends they're like oh my god military guys are out of the question they're like fast red flags oh. usually usually mm. girls do not want to date those guys mm. yeah. yeah interesting so there might be two people two types of people there yeah, <laughs> yeah. who want the military guys who don't want the military <laughs> yeah. guys yeah. okay uh now that you have experience of hello talk what do you think the image of hello talk is um you put the language you want to learn and and then a lot of bunch of people text you back mm -hmm. and yeah there was a lot of messages but i really didn't like was it pay mostly attention. boys or mostly girls? boys yeah oh, really like, wanted mm. to exchange language mm. yeah. okay do well, they actually mm -hmm. exchange language though i hope <laughs> they first start the conversation <laughs> anyway just as a foreigner you start speaking in english anyway uh -huh. so okay so, you know mm. okay. what languages did you put uh, at the time, like when I learned Korean, so right. Okay. Mm. okay, okay. Would you say that people on Hello Talk are, are a little bit more um, actually language driven or <laughs> genuine? Or there might be like couple, but <laughs> it, it, I, and also I think the ratio of women is higher because it's there's a stigma in dating apps. Mm -hmm. So if you have a quote unquote uh, language app, there's no stigma. So yeah. female, they're more te like tend to enter. There's no stigma. I'm just learning. I'm yeah. not like looking for. Mm. Oh, I see. So it's less shameful. That's less shameful. That's, less shameful. Yeah. That's why oh. made there's so higher sense. female ratio. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're going to talk about this like negative stigma and aspect mm. uh, yeah. down the line in this uh, podcast. So mm -hmm. look forward to that. But uh, before we get into that, so what do you think it, the reason is about like the high amount of male users in these apps? Because mm -hmm. girls usually, even offline, girls can meet guys pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Whereas for guys, you, they really have to make the effort. Usually the ones have, they have to make the effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of lonely people out there. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. There are lots of lonely people out there. So that's why it's, they resort to apps. And you can't go, if unless I mean, you want to spend loads of money every weekend, Friday night, Saturday night. If, mm. you, if you're constantly going out to bars and trying to meet people, that can also cost a lot of money. Whereas on these apps, you can just do it on the toilet for free, oh. <laughs> trying to match yes. people. Yeah. It's way more um, affordable option, I guess. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> but I think it's um, it's also um, interesting to like shine light on why there are like less women too. Oh, okay. And like, yeah, like if you think about like women in Korea, um, there are a lot of like safety concerns too. Mm. So a lot of my Korean female friends talk about how they just feel unsafe like whenever they are on dating apps because there are like risks uh risks of like yeah. um yeah like having their photos just Weird. in public mm. and like their information basically like in public just showing to everyone yeah. who mm. they don't even know right mm. so like that is also like one of the biggest concerns mm. um among like korean women just, yeah yeah and i could imagine because koreans korea is such a closed society it's mm. like everyone if you cross like two bridges everyone knows each yeah. other so your pictures might be circulated in mm. group chats and stuff but i guess like in america or people places more populated there's less chance of being True. noticed by your and circles. people don't really care that if, if you know yeah. people, it's not such a bad thing to be on a dating app mm -hmm. but not as in like in korea right, right. exactly less, it, it, less a you're just looking for love that's it right <laughs> also it's like very complex reason because like i don't know if this applies well but if you just try to interview anybody in the streets in mm -hmm. korea they're mm -hmm. so like sensitive about portrait rights and yeah, stuff yeah, they don't so, want to show their yeah. like faces anywhere in the public yeah. or media so True. that might also take into account mm -hmm. yeah once uh, a follower recognized me that was super creepy a uh -huh. follower recognized yeah. you i mean david you've had that experience yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. <laughs> david's famous so if he goes on <laughs> these apps people yeah. he gets recognized they're yeah, like oh yeah. you're that guy um, right right yeah. but right. like the creepy thing was he like he pretend like, we went on a date and he pretend he didn't know me and i thought he didn't know me and then at what? the end he mentioned so <gasps> i was like Bro, you could have just said at the beginning. That's exactly yeah, what happened really? to me. What? That's exactly uh, that was so creepy, right? <laughs> what? Like, please say at the beginning. Why to do this? I've told this story so yeah, many times. Yeah, so yeah. finally, see, it's so creepy. Like, don't do that. Why would uh, you do that? Really yeah. Creepy. So you went on the date with the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Yeah, she revealed la at the late latest minute, mm. like, oh, I actually watch your channel. I know all your content. Blah 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 blah. And I'm like. It's so weird. Yeah. And just like, and so at first, like she pretended. Yeah. She yeah. Didn't know and and in her defense, she was like, oh, I didn't want to spook you out like in the beginning. Mm. And then if I said I was your subscriber, you wouldn't have met me in the first place. And I, okay, I guess uh, that has some kind of reason, oh, but, but still it's not no. justifiable yeah. in my end. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but like 
um, going on to another topic. So other than these apps in Korea specifically, there are some niche apps coming out <laughs> that are very, uh, they're very popular as, as well. Uh, but probably not included in the former statistics because they're very niche and have a small pool of people. Yeah, yeah and it's hard to get in them. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let me let me know if you've heard of any of these. Amanda, uh -huh. you yeah, know I've that? Heard yes. of that. I've heard Gold of it. Spoon. Yes. <laughs> Sky People. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, never heard of. Christian Date. Oh, that I've yeah, never too. heard this. <laughs> my, my friend met her. her girlfriend like for that christian oh. app okay yeah. okay so yeah starting with amanda though like does anybody know or like, used me this? telling all them is my friend's story so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> i mean of course i've heard of it i've never used it but i've heard like they base your um they judge your appearance to yes. get in yes yeah. have you ever used it David? yes <laughs> and then you got accepted one? so how it goes down is usually so amanda means it's an abbreviation of amuna mannaji annanda mm, that means like, I, don't I don't meet anybody yeah not <laughs> any any old just commoner. anyone yeah. Yeah. yeah so um this one actually has the breast this one actually breast. has <laughs> the breast <laughs> it has breast Freudian that's me looking <laughs> the best brand image okay the best brand image you know With how breasts. I breasts <laughs> Okay, among users, it has the best brand image <laughs> and brand loyalty mm -hmm. and popularity oh, in Korea. Really? Yeah, oh. people really like this app. Really? So huh? it, yeah, people seem to be not failed by this app. Mm -hmm. And it's very ironic because the how it works is, first of all, in order to sign up to the app, you yeah. need to put up some pictures of yourself mm -hmm. and the the current users rate you yeah. by appearance yeah, and they give you like five stars, four stars, right. something like that. And like, I think like maybe a couple dozen people like rate you. Mm -hmm. And if you get an average over like maybe 3.5 or four, you're mm -hmm. accepted in the app oh my God. and you're labeled as a four star or five star yeah. forever on that oh, app. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what were you, David? <laughs> I'm not going to say that, but I'll just say I made the cut at least. <laughs> Photoshop or not Photoshop. Yeah. So, I mean, guys usually when they're drinking, they're like, you know, oh. let's see who's the most attractive here. Uh, and this is like a metric. It's like a competition. Uh. So we put up like selfies right on the spot and like wait 30 minutes and then we get our results. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I heard of it. Yeah, too. half of the guys don't get accepted. Half oh of them my make God. it. It's so it. funny. But yeah, it's very lookist and mm -hmm. judgmental. Yeah. Yeah. Most apps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about this app in general? Yeah. I mean, Gold Spoon is similar. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, tell me about Gold Spoon. Gold Spoon? Let's, let's finish like, talking about Amanda Spoon. Isn't it like more savage? Like, it's not even. Yeah. Okay, like. Like in addition to look at them, mm. yeah. there's more. They're also like yeah. I actually have a screenshot of what the criteria is yeah, for the, the guys. All the criteria, like so. Finance. Anna's using gold spoon. <laughs> 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 like, but well, it's so different from men. What they ask for men and for women, uh -huh. I think that's oh, yeah. kind of so despair. So. Oh. True. Okay, oh, Anna, awesome. please explain what gold spoon is. <laughs> so and, hold on, let me I find mean, the screenshot. Okay, so. Um, for guys, this is the criteria that they have to meet. So it's like for like very elite like level of guy. It's mm -hmm. not like so you have to have either attended Sky University, so like the Ivy League of Korea, yeah. or you need to have over two million uh, worth uh, like a house that's over worth over two million. <laughs> what? And you need to have like submit papers to prove that you own what? this or that you live there. Oh my god! Or you that, submit that to the app. Yeah, you have to submit or that you live in Gangnam. You live in the vis like Gangnam vicinity. You have to submit those papers. And someone is manually like yeah, verifying. Yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. What? All the moderators are doing that. Or like if you have like an expensive car, you also submit those papers. Um, <laughs> 연소득 7천만 원 이상. So what is that in USD? Like 70,000. 70, 70, yeah, you have to prove that you earn over 70K a year. Um, or that you're like a CEO or you are a lawyer, doctor, judge, like whatever, that kind of thing. Or you you just have a lot of family wealth. You have to submit those. So you need legal papers. Yeah, you need legal papers what I'm, I'm pretty surprised that people would submit like official papers to an app service because those are like private you know yeah, but they say it's very private i don't know but oh. but for girls it's just like they just judge you on appearance the users 
Yeah. And if you're pretty enough, then you get accepted. Oh, so girls don't need any just, no. just be pretty. Wow. Yeah. Just, just be pretty? Just be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so can yeah. ugly girls be on it too? <laughs> no, because the users will judge oh. you if you're if you're pretty enough to be on the app. And if they say no, then you can't. Oh, so it's the same with Amanda so for us. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. for girls. Oh, that's very savage. Yeah. Oh, that's another level. Amanda <laughs> but, was civilized, yeah. Yeah, but like in Korea, we also have like these like marriage agencies, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like offline. Yeah. Yeah. But so I know typically they ask for like those kind of information yeah. but like mm. this is a dating app yeah when, but it's still kind of like yeah yeah, yeah. Like but it's, 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 i think it's still more affordable than a um, oh, yeah. marriage agency right yeah what and then we have sky people <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's the sky time. people who attended the Ivy Leagues of Korea. Like, but so the party is for both women and men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They both need to have attended sky. Oh, so mm -hmm. these men are actually looking for like intelligent women. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, there are a lot of um, criticisms about these apps, saying it's very uh, lookist, classist, yeah. and all these kind of stuff. What are your opinions about it? I mean, this everywhere. And I know in the West, there's Raya. Right, What's Raya. Raya is for famous people. You have to be oh, only yeah, uh, yeah, you have to have inv invited by another famous or celebrity or influencer. Um, you can't just be on anybody. So just the metric there is clout. Yeah, clout. Oh. You need to be famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there such an app in Korea? I don't think so. David, here's Maybe. your niche. Yeah, but you need to have clout <laughs> to join go. this app. Oh, a Korean cloud chasing app. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to say I think that's a reflect of society mm -hmm. where men. Oh, sorry, re reflect of society where men is value for their power, yeah. mm. uh, for their money, yeah. and women for their looks. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a clear like problem of society reflected yeah. on apps also. And do you think yeah. that problem being reflected to these apps are also problematic, or is it natural, or is it just like you know? Just competition, capitalism, whatever. As well, it's unfortunate, unfortunate, but it's kind of how society works too. It's the reality. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate. I, I, I don't think. know. Honestly, like I'm just like I'd be really offended. Like I'm just like oh, I'm all about self love and mm -hmm. like mental yeah. health, and this is just like really toxic. Like how dare Super. you like rate someone? Yeah. Based on anything, like right. you are. You are <laughs> worth it. Like for mm -hmm. just, yeah. So it just, just doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. So Anna, as a player in the system, <laughs> what are you? What is your opinion about it? I mean, I think the app can itself is it's allowed to exist. It's a free market, yeah, of right? Course. Clearly, there's a demand. Yeah. Of those rich guys who are like, okay, for them, like they're like, I can provide the house, I can provide the money, like I just mm -hmm. want like the hottest girls. Mm. That's what the, their criteria is. They're like, yeah. I don't really care. She doesn't have like such a good job. They're just like, I just want the hottest so, girls. So, do you but think it? So do you it think really it could sad. be see in, seen in a lens of efficiency too? Like, I don't want to waste my time on like swiping mm. through random. And people. obviously, yeah, and there are loads of girls who are like, I don't want to date like struggling guys. So uh. I guess it's like a faster ticket lane. Mm. So yeah. you, because on Tinder, you don't know who you are. True. It's right. just That's everyone's true. there. Sebumi, yeah. since you're in the industry, do you <laughs> think it, like an app like this mm -hmm. that has like these kind of standards would fly in the Western market or globally? Um, yeah, I mean, the world is basically mostly uh, capitalism, yeah, capitalist. Yeah. So I think, yeah, in some parts of the world, it would definitely work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Raya yeah. is kind of similar to that, like celebrity. I heard like Ben Affleck, they're like, mm -hmm. pure, those actors, they're like on yeah. Raya. And I know in New York, there's like an app for like pretty models. Mm -hmm. Like you, they join oh. the app and then they go get like into a cafe, they get free stuff. Like, uh, only wow. models can join. Okay. Yeah. So uh, definitely Korea being locust and valuing lookism <laughs> in a positive way i mean korean people have pride on their like you know fashion and like grooming yeah. themselves and looking fly and all that kind of stuff but it's not just lookism it's also the other like girls definitely want because you know in a lot of girls when they get married in korea yeah. they're like likely to depend on the husband way more than in the west mm. maybe oh those mm. virtues the yeah. traditional yeah they want definitely a man who can provide ah uh, mm. yeah that might be a cultural background too yeah, yeah. on why these kind of apps are yeah, more whereas in the west women are more independent they will carry mm. on working after giving birth mm. getting yeah married. because like i don't know if like this app gold spoon was in the states i think it would be on cnn like next day you know yeah it's true <laughs> yeah but also i think a lot of people will use it like you said i still right. think a lot of people will use it right 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 i i mean i think there will be like vigilantes on the app like screen capping everyone on the, <laughs> on the on the app and like exposing them like look at these jerks you know i, I don't know uh but yeah um 
So according to the researches, these apps actually have a smaller pool of 20 to 30,000 users, yeah. respectively. Mm, yeah. But mm. interestingly enough, the ratio of men and women is approximately 50-50. So mm. it's like it's like a even balanced mm. playground there. Mm, wow. So why do you think this is the case? It's, it's the filtering or is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think people yeah. think of Gold Spoon as almost as serious as like a marriage service agency. So uh -huh. there's maybe less yeah. taboo rather than joining Tinder, which is like very free for all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said, wild, wild, uh -huh. you know, desert. Mm -hmm. So people yeah. are actually saying, some people I've seen on their profile say like, I really come here to looking for like my future wife. I really oh. want to like get oh. off this app. And, and like, and wow. they always put like on the ads, like I like success stories of people getting married from the app mm -hmm. and like living happily together. So Anna. <laughs> 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 what kind of people have you met so far on the app? I cannot disclose that. <laughs> just be general. Like nobody's gonna know if you talk about their profession, no, right? But I've actually been using also Bumble as mm -hmm. well. There were loads of like like CEOs, like really successful well-off guys. But they're usually like people who have studied abroad. Yeah. A lot of mm -hmm. um like like and uh -huh. like people who studied abroad on Bumble because it's a very right. Western app. Yeah. Mm. But I was very surprised by this. Mm -hmm. It seemed a lot more serious than like if I compare it to Tinder or something. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. do you guys think like using dating apps in Korea, you have a more higher chance of meeting like westernized Korean men? Because I really, I don't use the Korean Amanda and yeah. you know, I've only used like the Bumble, mm -hmm. the, the westernized apps. Mm -hmm. So I have more of a chance. Of Based this. on your experiences, um, yeah. what kind of men have you met? Like, were they more westernized or have you met Korean Korean men as well? Like, how was your experience? Yeah. Um, yeah, so if it's like global dating apps, usually, mm -hmm. usually, they, yeah, there are like Koreans who lived abroad yeah. or Kyopos or even like foreigners. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of them. Um, but yeah, Tinder is becoming like very much like Korean, Korean too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh. pretty much. Um, yeah, so, but like, you know, I usually personally just tend to go for if it's like Koreans, you know, who grew up abroad, yeah. Kyopos. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it, depends on like what kind of platform you're on mm. okay okay yeah. david then from your experience what kind of have you seen mostly korean korean girls or like foreigners or i have no matches <laughs> <laughs> how should i he's know he's trying to weasel his <laughs> no, way no, 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 no. <laughs> no but uh like seriously um the only matches i get is like 90 percent foreigners mm. yeah no korean wow. woman has selected me <laughs> what? Yeah, this is sad why do you think it is maybe i'm not attractive <laughs> to oh, the we, we need thing. to check your like pictures <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah let's get to the tips i don't have the app let's so get to the tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay we'll go to the tips a little bit later but <laughs> speaking more industry so yeah. worldwide the spending money inside the apps you know you can get like Platinum, plus you know, yes. plus, plus services. Yeah. It's yeah. increased to five point nine billion dollars wow. <laughs> on the app. Have Congrats you guys to the app developers? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I yeah. envy you. Yeah, love yeah. Have you guys ever like paid on the app before? Um, mm. Yes. Oh, you have. Yeah, I so, do too. Yeah. So actually, like that was before I even joined the company. Yeah. Um. So there's this feature on Tinder mm -hmm. where you can like show your bio or like your profile in general um to people you swipe right on. Only, oh, right, right. Only. Uh -huh. So like I don't want to like show my profiles to just anyone. Mm. You know. So that's like what I use the premium feature for. Oh, that's a very nice function. Yeah. yeah. I found helpful. There is a also feature on tinder that they you can when you pay certain amount of money you gold or something i don't remember mm -hmm. where you can see all the people that they like you oh, first yeah. oh. so you just can choose select, from them yeah, choose from mm -hmm. them so mm -hmm. i think that's also helpful very time saving time yeah, saving time very saving. efficient okay yeah. okay anna have you spent money no 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 wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no no yeah so uh in korea the amount of time spent on dating apps have increased like the users itself but the amount of app downloads and consumption has decreased so people aren't aren't spending money anymore so why do you think this is happening like globally like the users and the money that's been spent has been like surging but in korea the users are increasing but the money is like decreasing because koreans are cheap i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah. would there be any other reason that that Sure. Any insight on that, Sabomi? Because I think nobody wants to be like, yeah, I'm paying for this. It's like more casual, not like mm -hmm. casual Just looking. using, looking. Mm -hmm. So like if you're paying, it's like you're more serious and mm -hmm. you're meticulous. So I think it's more like relaxed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pay mm -hmm. yeah. for it. 
I think if it's like compared to COVID days or something, yeah, I like mean, yeah, people are getting out more sense. now, right? Yeah. So mm. during the COVID, obviously, like people would have paid more too. Yeah. Mm. Um. But yeah, like nowadays, people can people meet people organically too yeah mm -mm. yeah i've i've done some research on the comments and i don't know if this represents the korean population but a lot of guys at least i've mm -hmm. searched on the guy side mm -hmm. they felt betrayed by mm -hmm. some apps mm -hmm. by providing mm -hmm. nothing no value oh from, they feel like it's a ripoff yeah i'm paying. sure some apps mm -hmm. are yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly korean yeah. apps korean app reviews mm -hmm. i don't know about tinder the global mm -hmm. apps but at least for the korean apps they said like these like in order to send a message you have to like pay and yeah, yeah, yeah. gems or whatever right right yeah. right so they feel like it's a ripoff so maybe that's a reason so mm. that bad reputation has mm, circled maybe. Yeah. yeah so anyways that was an interesting point of view mm. um so let's go on into cultural nuances and dating app behavior so uh what do you think are the key differences between south korean dating app culture and mm. that of other countries wow yeah yeah there is a huge difference actually like so i've swiped on in a lot of different countries mm -hmm. and in korea too and in korea i think people usually tend to be very anonymous Anonymous. So yeah, uh, that's yeah. True. so like when you that. when you see profiles in other countries, they usually like put their real names like um but in real age too. Um but in Korea usually I see people with like fake names or mm. like just like yeah. words totally unrelated, like mm. or something mm. like that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Like anything in their profiles. So. Exactly. Yeah. And also even photo wise, mm. um, people tend to be just a little more subtle mm. or or a little just yeah not straightforward so like side pictures yeah or like pictures or... of their back yeah yeah what's yeah. the point of that yeah they just i have no idea and then how do, how do you think they're going to get matches with yeah. pictures like that or like a picture of that dog or something yeah yeah what's the point this of... is true like even like picture of a coffee or like yeah. something and uh. no nothing in description nothing so it's like yeah but they think expect girls to match with that like <laughs> i don't know oh, oh and um Photos also with a lot of filters, obviously in a Korea. Filters. A lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot to say about this. It's, so, <laughs> it's just so awkward to see like men's photos, like w with like their lips like super red, red, and their oh. skin and, like, is super pale. Pale. It's so clear that they have a filter on. <laughs> or like with masks, like come on, we want to see uh, you first. Uh, but a lot, like especially Magi Kun. Magi Kun, Magi Kun is the name. It's like a mask. Um, I must say, like using gold spoon, there's way less of this they're very oh, really? very strict on what uh -huh. kind of pictures and they have like a character maximum limit that you have to reach on each section that you have to write about uh -huh. yourself it's way more like proper profile i would assume because like the instant you're on the app you need to put legal documents yeah, on yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Whereas Tinder, point? you can literally wow. just put an initial and just like sure. one picture of a coffee oh and God, you can yeah. just get accepted that's why it's way more um lower bar to entry oh yeah. okay so nalu what do you think the difference is like using in south america or like in korea i just use dating apps in korea and in america america so okay. like uh Seb Sebumi Sebumi. said yeah in america they tend to explain more or like more like not because in korea that mostly the profiles is like coffees or puppies or yeah. maybe some faces or masks yeah and a lot of yeah. men using their body profiles oh. yeah. like yeah, there's so many like body profile pictures they use it for tinder that's so true yeah, body but, profiles in in as in the ones they uh, yeah the actually pop yeah, like yeah. Pop, body pop, pop. a lot a lot so oh. that's well they want to <laughs> show off or something but yeah. i find in america they like their work interest uh, some funny yeah, questions actually, yeah, like, photos but, that you will find on the instagram daily yeah, life. Yeah, yeah yeah more daily life yeah. even yeah. with their families or, yeah, yeah yeah and it's, I, I didn't use it in south america but i have to ask my sister okay <laughs> she uses a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and i think i i have one more thing to say about body profiles um so I think in Korea, like there's just not many like physical activity cultures, right? Like in not other, compared to the West, exactly. yeah. Exactly. So like in other countries, like there are a lot of chances for men to be like just half naked, oh. like yeah. when they you know do on the beach, beach yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, when they go bouldering exactly. or whatever. But in Korea, it's just like uh, such a taboo that <laughs> you just like go half naked anywhere, yeah. <laughs> right? Even like at the beaches, like you always like put Wear rash guards on. <laughs> <laughs> right? So yeah, you need to like, you know, in like in Tinder photos, like they want to show their naked body, but like <laughs> they just don't know how to. So. Also doing exercise. A lot <laughs> oh, of men yeah. doing it like, like gym pictures, body uh, profiles, right. a lot. And also like, you know, the 
package pictures. Yeah, uh, yeah. So what you're saying is, <laughs> yeah. in the West, you might see a lot of skin, but it's like in natural settings right. yeah. with sports pool, activities. Yeah. Like, but in Korea, it's very fabricated. Yeah, like, <laughs> ah, okay. They're like with a towel. Like, <laughs> right. Ah. <laughs> well, how were your pictures, David? <laughs> my pictures are just natural. They're just everything so like, on my the, Instagram. The natural, yeah, like my, <laughs> totally the same as my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, that's very interesting. So, what do you think? What do you feel when you look at those body profile pictures? I mean, their bodies are good. So, do you feel <laughs> a, attracted to them? Or? No, for me, it's a true now. For me, it's a true. It's like you're like uh, like Jose. You're showing up like what's what you need to. Yeah, like, oh. and it's like no. It's either that the Jose is like either bapu or like the guys with the supercars and their watches right there and then the oh hand my god. Yeah, yeah. Lambo, Ferrari. Talked yeah. about it too. Yeah, yeah. Well, like it's always expensive wines, whiskey, yeah. champagne. Wait, but I thought girls like guys with buff bodies and like yeah. muscles and Lambos and stuff. But I, th I think it's when you're on Tinder, it's just so much of that. It yeah. all kind of becomes like a blur. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's like you're trying, like showing off. Mm. And yeah. Like they they just need to be a little smarter <laughs> like you know there are ways to show it off like subtly yeah, yeah. yeah. subtle true <laughs> okay okay yeah, like topless by the beach when you're surfing like that's okay but yeah. it's like when it's just all like bathroom selfie <laughs> it's just <laughs> like half naked yeah okay yeah. okay okay anna you've been in the uk have yes. you used it there and like what's yes. your comparison with korea yeah it's just a lot more natural and it's just like very acceptable thing to do and people actually mm. try to tell people about this is what kind of lifestyle i mm. have mm -hmm. whereas korea is like you're very hidden okay <laughs> very nobody hidden. rarely everyone nobody actually puts their actual name nah. oh, yeah. <laughs> they have like a nickname mm -hmm. or like an yeah. initial mm -hmm. and then it's like once they, people say like if we match, then I'll tell you more about myself mm. kind of thing. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is one thing I noticed. Everyone puts like no O-N-S-F-W-B. Yeah. Oh, for the girls section. Yeah. Yes. For the girls. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Yeah, Because they true. don't want to match with those guys, I guess. Um, majority of guys, they will ask for one night stand or mm -hmm. do they benefits. Actually? Like what? They do. That's like such a true enough. They do. Like, they, like on Tinder, hello, I think you this wanna, is Can I say it? Yeah. Like, hello, you want to fuck? Like literally, it's like, mm, hello, oh, like that's too much. And do they yeah, think I that's actually so going to work? <laughs> That's the question. Like, do you think that's gonna work? Does no, that but I asked. Work? I asked, and they say yes. So I yeah. was like, well, because there are some girls bye, who are wow. just looking yeah. for that. No way. Yeah, there are. Sure. There are, they are. like mm. creep, freaky girls who are just looking for this kind of. Thing. That's one in a million. They're no, but I mean, there might be girls that want to do that. So okay, why not? Okay. We're free yeah. with our bodies. But yeah. for me, that's such a turn off line. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, do do Western uh, do other parts in the globe using dating apps put up like no one night stands no fwb or something actually, like actually i have never seen those like in other countries it's very like mm. yeah very unique to korea i think a lot of people say tinder is like a casual dating yeah, app yeah. and it has the stigma for it um and a lot of people that have the demand and supply for that are on the apps if they're looking for that why do they put that on there on the first place like the i i, I saw many profiles like male profiles that they were like looking for something casual nothing serious or like mm -hmm. one night stand they're like pretty forward uh, males are pretty forward yeah for... even they put like i got my like papilloma virus injection <laughs> what yeah what's that like the kind of, i learned that that that, language, that that word because of a person that he say like hi and then do you like do you have your kanada or something like that kanada 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 ah. yeah, i didn't know that i had to go it was like bye <laughs> like ah. i like i just i don't even want to answer but ah, yeah yeah that's basically like are you std free or something yeah, like that? yeah. 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 Pretty, yeah. Like, mm, okay okay so guys guys are the problem <laughs> <laughs> mm. so um what kind of co conversational differences have you noticed like when you engage with an actual guy like what's the difference in culture and conversations or are they the same Mm -hmm. I think Gold's like for me like recently like Bumble and Goldsman they've been pretty normal actually decent yeah yeah they've yeah. been just normal guys it's just I, feel, I haven't been on Tinder for a long time mm -hmm. but I think Tinder is like where you'll find the freaks yeah most of the time no but like uh, in terms of cultural differences like Korea versus the world are there any oh. conversational mm -hmm. differences on how guys or girls speak Mm. To be honest, there are like forward and like trashy guys all over the yeah. world. It's not just unique to oh, Korea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't know. From my experience in London and from like my friends in London, usually guys in they will try to start out with some sort of funny, jerky line mm. to get the girls' attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Korea, I feel like mostly it was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's me. Is that what you do, David? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. I, I honestly think, okay, unpopular opinion maybe, but like those funny pickup lines or whatever, I think they're cringy as hell. Like, why do they... Yeah. Like, if it's a, it's a good joke or something, They like, probably I'll Googled that it. shit five seconds like, before. Each like, to their own. Each to their own. Like, right? Why do yeah. girls fall for that? Like, that's, that's stupid. Like, what if she has 50 guys and they're all saying, hey, in their inbox? Yeah. That's true. Hey, yeah. you wanna fuck? <laughs> we just want the joke. <laughs> we okay, want okay. the joke. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but what about how, like, the dates actually go? Are there any differences in that? My experience when I was in America, like guys will pick me up. Mm -hmm. uh, in a car? Or in a car, yeah, yeah, they will pick me up. But here, here in Korea, like mostly using transportation. Mm -hmm. mm. I can usually tell by when I text someone if they're going to be a freak or just like if they're like normal and mm -hmm. decent. Yeah. You already don't, I already say I'm not going to meet this, but we're just like yeah. unmatched from them. Mm -hmm. But if you think they're decent, then it's like, I think it's pretty fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, dates wise, um, I think it also, yeah, depends on like where you are yeah. also but yeah in korea in general a lot of people just like meet for drinks or coffee or even food mm -hmm. um but actually when i was um in bali a lot of people like meet for like beach time like mm -hmm. surf mm -hmm. like yeah so i think also like people prefer to like meet with like some kind of physical activity too like in to, bali. Oh, yeah, really? to like break yeah, the ice that's, that's kind of nice yeah yeah i think that actually works too yeah. like even it, even it can it can work more in korea mm. as well like it's so awkward to like meet someone over coffee or like drinks yeah. like sure you can talk you can have conversations but mm. like yeah, like it's nicer to. Oh, really? But if you go like surfing for the first time together, do you actually have much time to like actually get to know the person? No, not really. Yeah. Like while while surfing, not really. But yeah, like afterwards, afterwards, afterwards yeah, I guess right. so. Yeah, yeah. But also, like when you surf, like you kind of also get to see like how the person reacts um, mm. in some kind of situations and stuff. I think yeah. one of the differences I found is that here is like let's meet up and let's go for a drink. Or mm. like, is it okay if we go for a drink? Or like, always mm. something like drink alcohol related. involved. Involved. Yeah. So true. and but you know, of course, there's guys that don't ask like that. Mm. But abroad, uh, they don't ask that straightforward. Oh, really? Or maybe that's the people I match. Maybe. Uh, I so mean, I I wouldn't be surprised because Korea is so alcohol centric. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol but David, what is your if you met someone on an app? Like, what do you do on the first date? Go drink. <laughs> Go drink, go for dinner, go for drink. Uh, he was yeah. the one asking for the drink. <laughs> there are some girls that I've I just seen. think it's natural for me. Right, yeah. but there are loads of people doing coffee dates now as the first yeah. Oh, meeting. I could do that yeah. too. Yeah. But there are, there are some girls who are like, okay, these guys are like cheap. They're, mm. Like coffee date is not acceptable for me. Yeah. Uh, right, like, they're like, well, you have to weed out the coffee dates. I mean, ones. I think it'll be d different. But um, for me, a drink is like a, a bottle of beer. Like mm. just a cocktail. Mm. But it's not like getting dead over like four bottles of soju or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just a sip of cocktail, I think that's pretty nice and like mm -hmm. romantic. So mm -hmm. I would do that, but maybe yeah. it's different in cultures mm -hmm. and perspective. I also like saw this like really interesting um, statistics recently where it said um, Gen Z these days are like trying to just go more sober. So like even mm -hmm. the dates tend to be more sober too. Mm -hmm. Like they nice. yeah, tend to not drink and like just get to know people more sober. I think that's nice. Yeah. Mm. I think that's nice because seriously, some people's like behavior changes. Yeah, for drunk. sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw some article, this is unrelated, but uh, when these people do blind dates or either Tinder dates, they meet and they do like profile checks, like, oh, what's your age? What's your name? What's your MBTI? And, yeah. then, and then they say like, can I see your Instagram? And mm. then they go through like the, the search. Yeah. Now it's like the fastest way to get to know someone. You ask for their Instagram discovery tab yeah. because it's like the algorithm uh, shows them what they're most interested in. Yeah. yeah, And then you can, oh, you're this kind of person. You like this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. oh, David, what's on your discovery tab? <laughs> <laughs> no. Naked I girls? Think, I think that's no, clever. No, that's I, there's no way I'm going to show you. Naked girls. <laughs> <laughs> Let me actually check. <laughs> oh, it's pretty decent. Yeah. I would say mine's... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty decent okay like there's one bikini pig i i have to admit yeah. okay that's all basically every so everyone you like tennis it's all tennis yeah ah, yeah LA, soccer LA, tennis uh, cute girls in bikinis <laughs> <laughs> there's two pictures <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways yeah um yeah, i think being uh, going on a date so but i think it's nice yeah. it is nice yeah. it yeah. is nice but yeah. david as an introvert do you get nerve like do you feel like you need is you feel slightly better after one drink or the drink 
I, it doesn't help me. It's just the mood and the atmosphere. Oh, that's yeah, true. right. And bars are tend to be more dim Romantic, lit, yeah, uh, and mm -hmm. like better music and mm -hmm. stuff. So, mm -hmm. sure. yeah. Okay, let's go on into the actual dating tips from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who so, are you giving tips to girls or boys? Both. Or? Both. Oh, okay. So <laughs> let's provide some practical advice on how to use dating apps e efficiently and effectively in South Korea specifically mm, okay. so like a lot of girls would be in south korea they'd be looking for guys so any tips you would like to give them but like this is girls like foreigner girls who live in korea because that's our main audience yeah I we're speaking so. in english so yeah. let's yeah. assume that okay mm -hmm. like maybe etiquette safety measures strategies stuff like that yeah I'll say that for all the girls watching <laughs> and for me actually i experienced it like from when i didn't set my boundaries and i didn't know what i want to and what to expect mm. and what is my non-negotiables that oh. when i did the quality of dates or people i match with was totally different oh. so i'll say yeah please what do you want what you're looking for it's like it's totally okay if you're looking for some fun but be realistic mm. and also what is your non-negotiables what you don't want to do i'll say a quick example uh i have a friend that uh, she was complaining a lot about like, oh my god i hate korean guys they always ask me to go like at their houses and they want to go at, like nighttime their houses why all korean man is trying uh, anyway like because she was complaining guys make her go to her his house her there's their houses, His house. their houses mm -hmm. at night and everybody was like yeah Manny Strata so it was like I just asked her like hey girl you just don't go like say mm. no I'm yeah. not going to go just set your boundary yeah it's not like men push you mm. you're you're choosing also to go or mm. if you don't want to so put your line there set your boundaries mm. what do you want and what to expect mm. to so okay that, that really mm. helped me a lot that's mm. good advice yeah yeah mm. I mean are you okay in terms of like matching on pe for people you just gotta put your best photos for girls <laughs> like me really doesn't matter what you put in the bio yeah. <laughs> just put your best photos that's very generic don't advice. use filters please don't use filters <laughs> no yeah. like think more in like a south korean perspective okay like let's see if you're trying to date a local here yeah so no filter no filters sure. please <laughs> thank you so much filters okay yeah. for men no filters please. and no body profile pictures no body <laughs> profile pictures <laughs> for girls though like for girls who, I mean, yeah, just like your best foot, your best photos, and your the matches will come. No, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that's just put um, like what you what you want also. Okay, your so helps. let me give you an example. So, what do you think about putting Korean hunger in your profile? Uh, Is that going to boost your ability to? I think that will, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I I put that like the languages I speak. And mm -hmm. a lot of yeah. people that talk to me, they don't speak English, or so mm -hmm. they start speaking in like, mm -hmm. Korean. Mm -hmm. Or what about saying, okay, uh, I'm, I'm just using an example because I've seen this a lot. I like BTS or something like that. Do actually people put that <laughs> yeah. in the oh, really? Yeah, it's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, I mean, you can like both Korea of you. classified as Korea. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm BTS army, something uh, like that. Yeah. I'll not, I'll not use that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, if the man and woman both like BTS, then that's like their connecting point. So, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, but how many <laughs> Korean men are <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know. I think they just genuinely put it because they genuinely like bts and yeah. they want to show that yeah. to the world or it's like it's like an indirect way of saying like i, I know like a I little bit about about korean uh, culture i like k-pop so like we might have some what do you think talking points. that has like a beneficial effect david so. for guys when guys for when me i wouldn't know yeah. um <laughs> well if a girl says like i like bts well in if you think in a korean guy's perspective it's mm. better than nothing like you mm. have at least some connection point like mm. oh this girl is has been exposed to korean culture mm. she has a little bit more friendliness towards mm. korean culture so therefore mm. there might be a little bit more proximity but I, I think, think if it was the opposite way around, so if a guy put, if a like white guy puts like, I like Japanese anime, like oh, most people yeah. like yellow Ew, fever, Ew. that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it's the same. I think it's a little bit cringy because we put the example as BTS. But if we put it as general, like I like K-pop, I like K-drama, mm -hmm. I like Korean food, then mm -hmm. it'll definitely open a little bit more uh, interesting conversations. Yeah, because yeah. there's someone for everybody, anyways. Yeah. yeah. Oh, then, then the question will be: Do you like you? Do you want to meet those guys just because? Because you like capable or you're interested in the person mm. so i'll uh. think is he or she interested in me yeah. as to know me mm. or just because i am korean right right or, oh, yeah 
so, so it might have, it's like, a double edged sword. Yeah. yeah right. So yeah. Um, mm. in general, if you just like K dramas, I would I would suggest maybe putting it on it like as an opener so yeah. like like the guy could be like oh what's your favorite k drama it would be like yeah, a nice sure. way to ice break or something but it's, it's, it's so weird to think about this because if imagine if a korean girl goes to america and goes on tinder she's like i like hollywood and i like no, brad it's pitt different, yeah, it's yeah, a different, <laughs> no, that's a different dynamic because korean culture is like a subculture and all, yeah. all, all over the world sure. it's not mainstream okay. so yeah, yeah. Oh, it's still a little bit weird you should just like the person for Okay, yeah, that's true. Right. But I think it's the same as like I like watching Marvel movies or like I like yeah. Star Wars or something. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm. It's like yeah. Yeah, double sword, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, double mm. sword. So be careful about mm. that. But actually, okay, it'd be fun to also talk about like our red flags, like mm. when we do like dating apps here. Mm. Like what kind of guys do you swipe left on? Oh. You know, like like on pictures or bio, like certain things that you really avoid. Oh, okay. You know? Let's talk about red flags yeah. then. Mm. What are some red flags you see? Specifically in Korean guys. Okay, we talk about body body profiles and filters. Anything else? <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, I've had friends who like they meet up with a guy and it's like clearly that his pictures were from like 10 years ago. Oh, uh, yeah. He's like <laughs> 10 kilos overweight. He's Outdated way older. Pose. Yeah, Get really. <laughs> like, and it's, that's, that's just fraud. That's just oh, yeah. fraud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true, true. <laughs> But also, I mean, this is, I don't think this is specific to Korea, but when I see guys and they've written on their bios and they're all like, I hate this in a woman. I hate this trait. I'm so off t uh, turned off by this. It's like, okay, why are you so angry? Like, why are you on <laughs> yeah. here then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should just like I think it's a much nicer look to just to like hey, I'm looking for this and this, but if you just go, I yeah. hate this and I don't understand why people do this and like la la la, I'm just like you sound like so bitter and yeah. so yeah. negative. Like, right. Yeah, exactly. When you're so negative in bio, it's yeah, yeah. just a turn off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also like mm -hmm. when you write an essay in bio, I've seen oh. like people oh, like really? writing it's a, a bit too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a yeah. long yeah. paragraph. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just can't. What do they even write about? Lot, I don't know, just like mumbling <laughs> their about their life story. Life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? I'll say uh, if a guy asks you, like, be on the first day to go to their area or to go to mm. their house. Oh, definitely. That's not like a no no that's for a me. Red flag. Or when they ask you, like, I had an experience that a guy, it was like we're talking like in a nice way, everything. He said, oh, let's go to eat. I was like, okay, perfect. And then he asked me, like, what kind of food or you have food allergies? Everything was fine. And then he said, um, are we going to do something romantic after dinner? <laughs> romantic. Uh, I was like, come on. <laughs> like, that's so just what that did you said, say? What did you say? I just, I just like, I just leave. Uh, I just like erase it because it yeah. was like, the fact that you're saying it, like mm. you're compromising. Like yeah. I, I already said, like I said, my boundary was like mm. not even interested. I'm not going to even lose my time. Yeah. yeah. He just he he just ruined it there. Yeah. Mm. And also, yeah. um, usually those type of people um usually like ask you in one of the first messages, like, do you live alone? Do you oh, live like true. Alone? Mm. living alone? True. Yeah. Why? Who cares? <laughs> I think that's specific to Korea mostly yeah. because yeah. That's true, that's yeah, true. people don't live alone actually. Right. They live with their parents. Right. And <laughs> if you live alone, that's like an advantage for them. Exactly. But David, like, they don't pay for double chill. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. David, I have a question. Like out of your like your Korean Korean like single friends yeah. around your age yeah do most of them live at home with their parents a lot of them do yeah, yeah. Oh, really most of them do actually because, because nowadays it's even more because they want to save the rent yeah uh, they move back into their parents house or like uh, they just lived in seoul forever with their parents they just, they just don't see the point of living true. alone yeah yeah. I think nowadays I'm kind of looking like I like it when a guy is like he says he lives alone rather than he lives with his parents. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. with the, yeah, the, the age gap that the age group that I'm now. I'm not like in my early twenties, and the guys I usually dating are like mid thirties. I'm just like, oh, yeah. I like it if they live alone, I like, get they're that. independent. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this all extends to the talk of like why Korean couples go to love motels and mm, you know yeah. mm. all that kind of stuff. Mm. So yeah, that question though coming from a guy is definitely fresh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think such a turn off is like what, I, what like I was. I was saying the guy before like meeting already asking for some kind of sexual encounter yeah. or something like why you need to ask maybe can happen maybe not but like mm -hmm. having that that's a requirement to go out mm -hmm. is just such a turn off for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. yeah oh and also like i don't understand when people put in bio like oh like my my age is wrong <laughs> I mistyped my well, that feels age. stupid no yeah mm -hmm. but like how can you like uh like 
the oh like oh I just like oh. <laughs> I, just, I just made a mistake. I like, think a lot of them like do mistakes on purpose, where they they can have exactly. like a uh, that wasn't yeah, me. Yeah, they can just pretend like it was a mistake. Yeah. That's not me. Yeah. Oh my god, actually, like I did um go on a date with this guy uh, off of Tinder, and like um this guy on the profile he said he was like thirty three, mm-hmm. and then we meet up and he says. He, he's actually like 40. Oh, that's fraud. That's actually fraud. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. The yeah. catfishing. Too. Yeah, super yeah. catfishing. I mean, also catfishing. recently I was told a story by a guy. Uh, he met up with a girl for a date. It was they were going for dinner and like, he was like, her body was like three times the size of the, <laughs> the ones in her pictures. And he was like, he was like, I didn't want to be rude. So I just had the dinner with her. But after towards the end of the day, he was just like, I'm sorry. I'm just like, you just don't look like your pictures. Uh, I'm like, I'm not interested in seeing you again. Yeah. So uh, bye. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. That's that's yeah. fraud too. Yeah, yeah that's fraud. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, guys lie a lot about their height. Oh yeah. Oh, right. oh they don't want to like they don't want to answer about their height. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know it's on Bumble? Everyone's required to put their height. On, yes. on Tinder, it's not. But you could just fake it if you want. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but you have to. Some people just say like because they're gonna get found out anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah most okay. guys just say. Well, yeah. yeah, maybe some. Oh, maybe. I can make a niche app that you have to verify every single fact about yourself, like your height. Yeah, you yeah, need to yeah. stand yeah. in front of a ruler, <laughs> <laughs> or wait, like a scale picture <laughs> from hat to toe. Yeah, that would be but funny. But David, do you do you have red flags? Red flags? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just like, if it's a guy, okay. or men. <laughs> as long as they're a woman or, or not, as long as they're oh human, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> This is sad. As long as she has breasts, it's fine. No, but you said you're picky when yeah, it comes I am to picky. swiping. So, yeah. but you don't have requirements, so you don't have red flags. So, uh, no, of course there are red flags. I would be like, I think what Anna said, like very picky girls too. Like, I want someone who's at- wine and dine me. Yeah, yeah, that too. Like, I want to meet someone who's over one eighty at least. Goes to like a tagi up, like some some good corporation or a company. Yeah, 180 centimeters. You like tall women? No, that's what no, the, no, girls no, the girls oh, okay. say. Oh, okay. They yeah, put on like, their okay. profiles <laughs> like, <laughs> like okay. yeah, I want to meet someone at least yeah, over true. 180, true. you know, true. that knows how to oh. like, take care of themselves yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And it's okay to ha- like, have mm-hmm. those standards, but mm-hmm. like just putting it as bullet points on your profiles <laughs> kind of is <laughs> like, you know, yeah, as Hebumi said, who are you? Like, yeah, yeah, why yeah, are yeah. you? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go on to into some personal stories. Mm-hmm. Best experience, worst experience, each. I will classify it as the worst, kind of. I went once on a date with a guy that I can say he's like a Latino boo. Oh, so, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So at the beginning, he was super nice and everything. We went for it for a, for a, a restaurant. But then he will start making comments like, oh my God, you look so sexy. Like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> what? And I was like, at the beginning, I was like, cool, thank you. Like, thank you for knowing my culture. I, I feel honored. But then he will say like, yeah, your, your hair, your hair. And oh I was like, for God. example, like, gracias. Yeah, you, did you pronounce the R? Like, <laughs> like, the hell? Like, at, at, after 30 minutes, I was like, like I said, do you like me? Or, or yeah. you're just like fantasizing and oh, going on so with a Latina. Didn't he also say senorita or something yeah. like that? Like, I hate that. Why did he say senorita? Yeah, I was like, please. But he was like, oh, yeah, you, you, you're you dressing like that and you're cursed. I was like, it was it was super cringe, but yeah, he would make comments about Latinas and how Latinas the food, the way we pronounce our like uh, pronunciation and everything. So it that was super so weird. Oh but God. at the end, I think he got a girlfriend like Colombian girls. So oh my God! He got it. He got, he got it. it. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him, but super cringe. Yeah. It's like Korean boo, Latina boo. Yeah, it's a Latino, Latino boo. Yeah. Oh That's so God. funny. Oh. Okay. Do you have any best experience? <laughs> Um, yeah, one, once I, I went on a date with like super, super gentleman guy. Um, he, Aww. he, I remember he bringing a flower, uh, even a flower. Yeah. What? Cause I just mentioned it and he did. So that Whoa. was, that was super cool. Super respectful. He came to my area in daytime, the afternoon time. Mm-hmm. Super, super respectful. Never mentioned like other intentions. Right? Mm. So oh, that, that's that was so cool. Cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can find those people actually on yeah. these dating apps. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden gems. Yeah. Hidden, <laughs> hidden, hidden gems. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ask uh, out of your experience what would be the ratio of normal like decent dudes and like freaks on these apps uh, 1.5 out of 10 
One of ten. Like, one oh, out of oh, ten. Wow. Actually, for me, if I have mostly decent dates, because you, yeah. like I said, I can usually weed out the weird ones right. from the texting. Oh. If I feel like yeah. they're gonna be weird, I just don't even meet up. Yeah. But most, most of the people that I've met up with have been decent. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you too. I mean, like me after doing my, like I said, like finally doing my filtering, mm. because before, even though I didn't like that, I was like, yeah, maybe you know, to have friends, language. I was oh, lying okay, to okay. myself, like language exchange, but no, they're not my friends. So I was lying to myself. So that's why I have like kind of weird experiences. Uh -huh. But once I just really narrow what mm. I wanted, yeah, I have like yeah. decent, mm. nice experiences. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, any worst experience with you guys? Funny ones? <laughs> well, the worst experience yeah. was the the one I talked about with the age. Um, oh, the yeah. 40 year old guy? Mm. Yeah, oh. the oh. one who put 33. So, in what the did profile. you say when he revealed his real age? What did you say to him? I I was just yeah I acted obviously just really surprised mm. and I well it was like also almost like towards the end of our date so mm. I was like okay like he actually wanted to like go to like eat out or something mm. and I was like okay well this is it like I, I have to go home wait like, so you yeah. didn't notice he was 40 until like he actually said it uh well I kind of like assumed uh. yeah mm. but like you, you know in the profile he says you know, it's like 33. So I'm like, okay, well, 33 by looking old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 33 but wrinkly. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Anna. I mean, I would just say the worst ones have been like when they don't look like their pictures, they look way more oh, yeah. worse. And the best ones have been when they look much better <laughs> than their pictures. Ah, <laughs> okay. I, would say, I haven't don't have any horror stories, I can't say. Okay. Yeah. Have you guys ever like ghosted someone like on the spot? Like you you, you decided <laughs> the to meet them and then you see them at the subway and that's, oh, that's oh, not it. Like, wow. Let me go home. I've never just... done that, but I had a recently a friend who's had this happen to her. Oh. It was awful. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stories like they this. Ghosted? the friend or is she, or he, okay she, so i'm not obviously not gonna reveal which friend or whatever but like <laughs> apparently he got her number on the subway like she was just sitting on the train yeah and he just came and asked for her number so she was like okay like whatever so they arranged to meet a few days later and so it's like a bit weird because he's already seen what she looks like yeah. mm. but they met in like some busy train station um thingy in seoul and like he and she, apparently she was like because it was really hot summer day she was like wearing like tank top or whatever he saw her and then he was like oh and he was like oh, can i just really go to the bathroom really quickly and then he disappeared and he blocked her on. what wow. oh my god i, ha I remember I like, this what? i remember this i have a like, that's so rude, like though. That, yeah. what the heck but you already knew what she looked like no yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. that's true. yeah what, what's your story uh pretty similar like that i once went on a date with a guy like to the movies mm -hmm. But the guy was nothing like the picture, like uh -huh. super, super, totally different person. <laughs> so when we were watching the movie, I pretend I have like a hard cop. Because <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was, in my defense, that was super hard, like AC coming out. So, <laughs> and then we came out, so I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And then just like never talk to him. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, but like, he's good because he liked too hard. <laughs> but like, what, what is your MBTI? I don't know. I never did the test. You never did the test. No. But I'm very like T. I'm usually yeah. very direct and upfront. If I just, I'm just like, I'm sorry, but like you just don't look like a picture. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I don't oh, think I we're can't. a match. I just tell them up front. Because oh, I think it's better than that just to be like, hey, I'll see you again. And then just like, I just, I'm just like very direct. For yeah. me, it's like, uh, I just go on the dinner. Like mm -hmm. I, I at least go to the dinner because mm -hmm. that person yeah. put some effort and yeah, time yeah, to coming yeah, out. Yeah. So like, okay, let's read the dinner, but I don't go for coffee. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, just actually, do it, uh, I have some issues. So yeah. like, yeah. But it's not so rude, the train station thing. Like you just see it and then you're just yeah, like, bye. Super rude. Yeah. I, I heard so many stories of that. Though. Yeah, yeah. So many girls I know have gone out to like train stations Ooh, and they wow. were like, I'm in front of exit five and then suddenly the guy was like well communicated and he just goes and, wow. yeah, they they see them from afar and they just go home wow <laughs> i think on so dating weird. apps it's so common to go the ghost because it's so casual there's yeah. no commitments they don't know even your real name mm, yeah. so yeah. it's so easy to just ghosts or disappear right. also like have you guys noticed how some people have like really different pictures on dating apps yeah. and like cacao talk for yeah. example mm -hmm. like yeah when you switch to cacao talk they just like look completely different so mm -hmm. you already like kind of you can ghost them yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah true, true. There, even <laughs> before meeting in person that's kind yeah. of uh unique to korea like switching to cacao talk yeah like, what do you think if they ask like oh could should, should we go to cacao talk like yeah mostly they ask you to go to cacao mm -hmm. yeah you don't yeah. think that's weird though that's not weird. In the That's West, they ask for Instagram. Okay, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because you can give also your ID, not your phone number. So mm -hmm. that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Okay. Okay. So that's fine, at mm -hmm. least. Uh huh. So, okay. Those are some funny stories. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's wrap it up with maybe talking a little bit about like the future of dating apps in South Korea. Like, how do you think the apps will evolve in the near coming futures? 
I mean, because it's such a popular service, yeah. marriage services, yeah. dating mm -hmm. apps. It's like they're preying on the basic human need for love and connection. Like yeah. it will always be a demand there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like David said, because he wants to create a new one for a niche. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> niche down. Yeah. So there will always be new ones, with better services or yeah. even more higher expectations or like, yeah. I don't know, for maybe for minority groups too. Yeah. There will yeah. always be new apps popping up, I yeah. feel like. Mm -hmm. So it's statistically proven that the user number is like going up and up mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But do you think the general perception, the image of dating apps and the stigma upon it is like easening in Korea? I think less than <laughs> before. That face? Yeah, I think it is. Like, it is? I think we, just, we live in an online world. So. I think everyone will still have the same idea of Tinder. So like that's just yeah. like, like Tinder just seems less like trash. Uh -huh. But like yeah. the other apps, I think is a lot more serious. Okay. Yeah. It just takes time, I guess. Yeah. It takes yeah. time. Uh, we we yeah. see in other countries like, yeah, well, in America also like it, I think it used to be more stigmatized as well but mm. yeah it grew mm -hmm. like that and became more common too mm. so in Korea it's gonna take time a little bit but yeah eventually, eventually. but anyway a lot of people use it it's just like mm. kind of uh, under yeah mm. Mm. not openly talk I would I would like to ask you guys um, when you were using the dating apps would you actually open that up to your friends or other people yeah. that I'm on Tinder. I'm yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. just to your close friends and like swipe together and mm -hmm. like yeah, kind of those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always talk about Tinder dates. You always talked about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess you guys have like a little bit of a Western influence, mm -hmm. so yeah. you're not you're kind of immune to that like you know, yeah. um, thing. Like, Actually, like when I talk about um, dating app experiences to my Korean Korean female friends, mm -hmm. um, there at first like they usually they've never experienced it yeah. but like when i mm. talk about it like they're curious yeah so very like, curious it yeah, sounds they, fun <laughs> yeah they sign up and yeah. then like there's a whole new world yeah. opening up for yeah. them yeah. so like they then like you know go on dates you know on dating apps and then they have fun too so like yeah. they yeah now they're yeah. like avid users <laughs> yeah yeah true yeah one of my korean friends was the one that like l look for the army guys so, Army oh, guys. Yeah, yeah, she was she was very she wow. Korean Korean. She very openly because she said like the well Korean guys was, was not her type. So mm. so she looked for mm. Western military. Western military oh my guys. God, they're like very the specific. worst. Usually they're <laughs> usually <laughs> the worst. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> they're doing their service <laughs> overseas. <laughs> <laughs> so they have like wives overseas and they're like That's using true. Tinder to cheat on their wives. Really? And stuff. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that, but yeah. yeah so um, well, what I've noticed is like in the recent days, uh, for a lot of dating apps, when you see their advertisements, they're advertising a lot about like hobby sharing, becoming yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. like meeting people in the vicinity and yeah. just like Bumble focusing friends. on activities yeah. Yeah, and yeah. stuff so mm -hmm. i think like the apps are trying to shift the image of like the uh, hooking up or just yeah. super casual i mean i yeah, yeah. i remember when tinder first like uh, was launched in korea the whole marketing was based around like it's not a hookup app it's a friend mm -hmm. finding mm -hmm. in your neighborhood friend finding app i yeah. remember the exactly. whole marketing was about that yeah. Yeah. yeah but actually the is the isn't the app kind of like evolving in that way though like isn't it no, it's still a much. <laughs> they just have the oh, marketing really? working on you. <laughs> okay, okay. I think you can um, on a lot of dating apps. You can like set your intentions, yeah. like what you're looking for. Uh -huh. So yeah, like there are people who are actually looking for like friends too, mm, like friends yeah. in the neighborhood, yeah. or like yeah. yeah, like you can also like put oh I'm looking for serious relationships mm -hmm. too. Because I was very shocked when I saw the uh, pretty recent Tinder advertisement. It, there was the old guy Shingu. He mm. was on the advertisement. True. Yeah, and there was True. it was a very happy theme and he was like oh, I forgot the tagline, but it was basically <laughs> looking for friends like to bike together or something mm. and yeah. yeah. That was fresh. Mm. But it's kind of weird like how still stigmatized the dating apps are in yeah. Korea yeah. so but also I think like especially after I've been on Bumble and all these recently these are people I would have never met in my from my usual circle of people yeah. there's yeah. a you can That's reach so a true. whole different new world of people right. that you would have never got to meet otherwise mm -hmm. yeah. really for sure I think there are definitely pros yeah. as well yeah. Yeah. like as a freelancer that doesn't have like a, mm. yeah, a lot of true. communities or right, right, circles or right. yeah where, where, mm. when you work alone or yeah. you don't have a yeah, big yeah. circle you will go to sure. a new country yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely like apps oh, like yeah. you yeah. to yeah, yeah. Have friends. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I think definitely in Korea, people are just like very closed in their own circles yeah. and they don't want to yeah. wander out and yeah. stuff like that. So, but then it's ironic because they get blind dates from people. Yeah. So, what's the difference? Yeah, literally. And, yeah. What's the difference? Show the picture first. Yeah. And, like yeah. basically. It's the same. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I really like don't know how good targeting can be because like people set you up with people who they think you would be good with, but yeah. like you know we have like very like specific preferences too. Yeah. So even though you think these th this this person would match well with that person, yeah, like there's just subtle differences that they're looking for. Right. So. Yeah, like I don't know how that would actually yeah. work. I know? guess the pros of blind dates is like your friend is like the voucher. It's, 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 yeah. she's, she or she is like validating in between. I see this person's decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, I, and I've actually seen an app um, recently that uh, has that system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, oh, yeah, so many niches to explore. <laughs> like, I want to make a app. Dating and, app, yeah. And get acquired <laughs> by Tinder. <laughs> get rich <laughs> uh, they're making so much money yeah <laughs> good yeah, on them so yeah. much money but anyways uh yeah that was today's uh episode about unveiling the dating app culture in south korea i hope it was a fun episode for you guys <laughs> everyone who's listening um yeah come to korea and try it out yourselves and uh, trial and error just you know <laughs> explore yourselves uh yeah. people here everyone here learned it the hard way i think <laughs> yeah yeah that yeah. was the episode um if you want to plug in anything this is subscribe your to anna lee on youtube yeah, <laughs> yeah. follow cyber me jong as well <laughs> i'm a travel content creator on the side as well mm -hmm. sure, like you can follow me on all my social medias nalu nalu saram follow me there para contenido en español okay and uh Subscribe to KPC, Korean Pizza Club. You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple, uh, Google Podcasts, all platforms. And uh, please check out Patreon. Uh, support the podcast so that I can keep on going. Um, yeah, and see I will see you guys one. in the next one. Bye. 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 Thank you, David. Thank